shutting down before Easter. Jacques Aziz says he's off to celebrate a holiday like none before. For him, the January 25th revolution has brought all Egyptians together in an unprecedented way. I feel that people have really united, that the sectarianism we have seen is really isolated and that the majority of Egyptians are not like that. The true essence of Egyptians has now shown. Recent clashes between Muslims and Christians are temporary, he says, and are natural in a transitional phase like this. But not everyone shares that optimism. Christians have long complained of discrimination in Egypt, and some say there's little reason to believe that would change. We are very concerned. We can't tell what the politics of the country are going to be like. Are things going to be better or worse? There is nothing tangible to show tomorrow could be better. What's at stake for Egypt's Christians is not just their security, but what role they would have, if any, in shaping this country's political future. They've been taking to the streets, demanding more rights in the new Egypt and protesting against hardline groups that are becoming more vocal and violent after the downfall of Mubarak. At an official Easter reception that brought together Egypt's rich and powerful, participants, including one of the country's Christian cabinet ministers, backed these demands. A necessary measure being called for to ensure their political inclusion, legal guarantees. The rule of law must be respected. There should be equal rights for all citizens, and everyone should be dealt with equally before the law so that all citizens feel that they own this nation. Egyptian Christians often complain that when it comes to attacks against them, including the burning of a church south of Cairo after the revolution, justice is neither swift nor a deterrent to further attacks. And that legislation pertaining to the building of churches is more restrictive than rules governing the construction of mosques. Just how those designing the country's way forward deal with the grievances of this community will signal whether Egypt is indeed on the path to establishing a genuine democracy or not. Al Jazeera, Cairo.